An SBI report has predicted that the third wave of coronavirus could be as severe as the second. And there is only one way to minimize the impact in case the pandemic hits country again. And that is by vaccinating the majority of population as soon as possible. But for that to happen, India needs vaccines. As you know, the country is currently using mainly two Made in India jabs, COVID shield manufactured by the Serum Institute and Covaxin of Bharat Biotech. It is still a long way to reach the vaccination for the entire population. More so in the backdrop of many states having flagged shortage of vaccines and the gap between supply and requirement widening amid the deadly second wave. And now reports suggest that the government is working on a plan to remove roadblocks in its bid to ramp up the vaccine supply in the country. One of the obstacles for a very long time has been the demand of indemnity clause by foreign manufacturers. But that issue seems to have resolved for now. The government is actively considering the grant of indemnity to US firms P. Pfizer and Moderna for their vaccines. So far, India has not given any manufacturer of a COVID vaccine indemnity against the cost of compensation for any severe side effects. But P. Pfizer has obtained this condition in many countries where its shots have already been widely used, including Britain and the United States. P. Pfizer is reportedly in talks with the Indian government for supplying 50 million vaccine doses to the country between July and October, but has stressed indemnity as a crucial requirement. Last month, the Joint Secretary in the Health Ministry, Love Agarwal, conceded that while the Indian government was trying to buy vaccines from P. Pfizer and Moderna, the order books of these companies were full with several nations ahead of India waiting for the delivery of their ordered supplies. Medical experts have claimed that the Indian government was too late in initiating negotiations with global manufacturers, leading to a slowing pace of vaccinations in India since April. And now there is another twist in the tale. After P. Pfizer and Moderna, now Covershield maker Serum Institute of India has asked for indemnity from liability, according to media reports. And I quoted serum sources and said, and I quote, not just Serum Institute of India, all the vaccine companies should get indemnity protection against liabilities if foreign companies are granted it. But what does exactly indemnity against liability mean? Well, in simple terms, an indemnity bond will exempt the company from legal claims in case there are many adverse effects from the vaccine. In a step that will clear the way of foreign COVID-19 vaccines, such as P. Pfizer and Moderna, the Drugs Controller General of India has exempted specific trials of COVID-19 vaccines that have been approved by some other international regulatory bodies. So, we can easily say that things are moving in the right direction and very soon India will have enough vaccines to win the pandemic war. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com.